What the f are you guys doing? This generation's f That's one, two, one, two. For those who are watching the video version of this show, uh, wondering why I'm broadcasting from what looks like the backdrop of a snuff film, let me reassure you, no, I haven't been kidnapped. This isn't a ransom video. No one is being held off camera at gunpoint. I haven't been detained by CIA agents. I'm not being forced to broadcast from an interrogation room in Washington. I'm simply having work done to my studio. Don't be alarmed. I, I can't be there while that's going on, so I'm using an alternate setup. It is what it is. I mean, I'd rather be broadcasting from Mars, considering what goes on on this deranged planet, but uh, this will have to do unless I could get up there somehow. I know it sounds extreme, but when you share a planet with people who take pictures of themselves posing on the train tracks at Auschwitz, you start to go, do I really belong amongst my own species? Especially when you can just do that without consequence. Yeah, this goes on all the time. And, and what's worse is these people will post these photos and people will like them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at this. Handsome. What a beauty of a model. Well, there wasn't such happiness there, let's say. Ha 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 ha. I mean, what is wrong with people? How do you not know to not do this? I feel like I'm watching the Tone Deaf Olympics here. Here's the winner. Yeah, I can't even show this one. Oh, you're seeing this right. It's an oven. Yeah, somebody actually climbed in there to have somebody take a photo. What, what other places do these lowlifes take photos at? Active crime scenes? Do they pose in human chalk outlines too? Could you imagine if something horrible like this happened to one of their family members and you just showed up to the site where it happened, laid down on the ground and just started taking pictures of yourself? Could you imagine? Makes you wonder, where are the parents? Yeah, probably drunk or doing lines, I'm sure. What went on in that house? When you were a child, were you taught anything? Were you given any guidance? There's something wrong with this generation. This is what happens to people who grow up with social media. Right now, there's a complete disconnect in the world between people who grew up with social media versus people who grew up without it. And I, I want to get into that. I want, I want to dedicate the show to this because it, it, the, the contrast is insane. Look at the things people do nowadays. Get a load of this one. Y'all know you can't really plan when you get your period. And I was actually on my period at Electric Forest. And I wasn't going to let my period stop me from wearing what I wanted to. And I don't think anybody should have that. And yes, we did some product promotion. Now, could you imagine a girl doing this in the 1950s at a Buddy Holly concert? I love you, Peggy Sue, with my love so rare and true. Oh, Peggy. What they need to do is build one of these. Yeah, TikTok mental hospital. There should be one in every major city across the nation. All jokes aside, here's a realistic solution to your problems. Better help. Today's episode is brought to you by Better Help. Look, the truth is, there's nobody that exists in the world who's evolved as a human being who hasn't needed help for something. We've all been down. We've all been stressed out. We've all been lost. We've all been confused, not knowing what to do. It's a natural progression you go through. Life has so many ups and downs. It's normal. It's also normal to talk to somebody. You'd be surprised what you can get out of having somebody actually listen to you. The coolest and convenient part about all this is it's entirely online. This is made to be convenient. You just fill out a questionnaire and you get matched with a licensed therapist. You can switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. 
Discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Joey B today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Joey B. It's funny, man. You know, it's so interesting how much society has changed post social media. I mean, look at look at what a concert is now. There's people at a Playboy Cardi concert. This is a hip hop artist, and there's not a single person in this crowd without a phone in the air. Look, I mean, at literally every single human being, just all a clone of each other. And there's people that'll watch the whole show through their phone. I mean, could you imagine being the artist up there and, that, and that's, that's who you perform to? Just you, you perform to iPhones? Yeah, that's inspiring. That, that'll really get you moving. Like you're an exhibit at the zoo. I mean, this is what the animals see when the people show up to the glass at the zoo. What's her name? Adele addressed this a while ago. Have you seen this? God, it stopped raining. Yeah, I want to tell that lady as well. Can you stop filming me with a video camera? Because I'm really here in real life. You can enjoy it in real life rather than see your camera. Can you take your tripod down? This is a DVD. This is a real show. And I'd really like you to enjoy my show because there's lots of people outside that couldn't come in. They don't like this. You know, I was watching that old Metallica concert when they went to Moscow. In 1991, it was a million people there. A million. This has to be the biggest concert ever in history. Not a single phone in sight. Look at these people. Having the time of their life. But today, people can't live without their phones. It's like another body part. They're ups- people are obsessed. I mean, look at these kids. You, you see all these, these articles about kids beating up their teachers now because they get their phones taken away in class because that's all they do. They just look at their phones all day. That's my phone. No, you did not keep nobody else's phone. And you finna give me my Don't touch me. That's on my mom. Don't touch me. 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 And they get so angry, they just start beating the teachers up. Lamar High School is investigating the disturbing video that shows a student punching a teacher in the head today. An incident at Lamar High School started because of a cell phone. In this clip, a student gets in front of a teacher's face, demanding to get his phone. Seconds later, he punches the teacher in the face. So not only are they hypnotized zombies, they're entitled zombies too. Yeah, they'll attack you now if you, if you take away, it's like taking away their baby bottle. Throw the phones away. I was in the hospital six days, and the numbness was there. What allegedly caused the girl to go off when Turner tried to take her phone? Everybody's obsessed with Biden, Trump. Tucker Carlson has been fired from Fox News. Don Lemon has been fired from CNN. What's going to happen? I want to know what's going to happen when these kids grow up. That, that's what I'm concerned with. I, I'm concerned why none of these people... Uh, on Fox News or CNN, the president, your mayor, governor, they don't seem to be concerned about any of it. You notice that? Maybe they don't have our best interests. You ever think about that? I mean, look, I follow the news. I just, from what I see being reported and talked about it, it just, that doesn't, it doesn't seem so important to me. Like, I mean, I, I see the Bud Light thing and the sales are tanking and all that. And they let, they let the, the, the two uh, marketing directors go. Great. Yeah, they're just probably giving them time to brainstorm with Dylan in the tub. I don't even know if I remember how to do this. Um, hey. Yeah, they're just giving them time to prepare Dylan with their next campaign, the shove a Bud Light up your ass challenge. Yeah, that'll be the next TikTok challenge. And if it's not with Bud Light, I'm sure it'll be with some other brand. Who who knows what's happening anymore? Just don't drink the beer if you don't like it. I just... Meet me in the garden. 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 See, I'm more concerned about my immediate environment. Like, what's going on in the city? What's going on in the town? Well, what are people doing? When I see nitwits like this parking under a red light, getting out of his car to kick cars going by, jump on their hoods, and try to fight people passing by... I'm more concerned about people like this than talking heads on a TV. Y'all want some too? Hey, Mark. 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 Hey,
I'm like that. I do that to anybody on you, right? you. you. Bitch, you get out that car. You should be able to drop a net from a plane on the people who act like this and airlift them to Russia. Yeah, go kick random cars over there. See how many people named Igor or Oleg pass by you and do nothing. Look, I know there's stupid people everywhere, but America has a special kind of stupid. It, I, I believe this is the stupid capital of the world. That, that's my opinion. I've lived here my whole life. I'll give you one dollar if you can name any continent. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know a continent. If I did, I would say it. For example, I can assure you that this type of person doesn't exist anywhere else in the world. Y'all need to get y'all money up for y'all coming talk shit on my comments. Because the talk, co comment, all that shit, did that make you win money? No. But guess what? It made me money. So guess what? Y'all need to reevaluate yourself with y'all. Go be Who would ever take this person seriously for anything that they say? How, how, why? Why would you do that? I think, like, the biggest thing that, like, annoys me in, like, the whole dating world is, like, fucking talking stages. Like, that shit's so annoying. Like, the whole, like... And just, like, the inconsistency in them. Like, I literally, like, hate that, like, so much. But I think that's, like, my biggest thing. It's just, like... What, what specifically? Just, like, the fact of just, like, you, like... Now, how many likes did you count here? Like, in, like, talking stages, and it's just, like, you're, like, labeled that, and it's, like, people, like, are considered, like, you can't, like... You're just, like, confused and, like... Anybody that says like that many times, dismiss everything that they said. Rule of thumb for me, if I hear somebody say the word like more than five times in a 10 second window, I, I dismiss everything that they say. Nothing they say holds any credence to me for, for the rest of their lives. Most of the time, like the girl get, gets like attached or something and they like see it like it's going to lead to a relationship and it's always not. And it's just like. I mean, if you don't have a grasp on forming sentences, then you, how would you have a grasp on life? I mean, you, le you learn how to put a proper sentence together in elementary school. I mean, if you're in your 20s and by now you, you still can't do it. I mean, it's just nobody's going to take you seriously. Don't ever compare me to something like that, bro. It's some little way kid and got their backpack stolen and stuff like that. That's not me, bro. I'm comparing me to nothing like that, bro. I'm really from there. I'm really like that. And y'all seen it? <laughs> I don't want this stuff in my hair like that. I'm really like that. This guy drives amongst us. He's responsible for the lives of pet animals. And he breeds. He could clone himself. And, he, and he's somebody's neighbor, too. I'm really like that. All right, I got to calm down a little bit. Let, let's break this up a little bit. Let, let me shout out my other sponsor, Honey. These guys are awesome. You want to save money online when you shop? This is the easy way. This thing scans the internet for promo codes and applies the best ones it finds for your shopping cart. You can add this to your desktop. It works on your iPhone. Oh, I saved so much over the past few weeks uh, getting stuff for the, the new studio. I'm, try, I'm trying to revamp it a bit and uh, uh, create a guest spot so I can have live in-studio guests. So I've been buying a few things for that. I, I've been using Honey for a lot of this stuff, and I've been saving quite a bit using it. It's really easy. When you check out, you'll see the Honey button appears. And all you do is click Apply Coupons. If it finds one for you, it'll apply it and you'll save money. Very easy to use. This is the best thing to use for saving money. Get PayPal Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash joeybvs. That's joinhoney.com slash joeybvs. Link in the description. You guys might not be aware... But Florida has the largest per capita population of sugar daddies in the U.S. Sugar daddies, both gay and straight, and yes, even sugar mommies, are responsible for college educations, cars, homes, rents, jets, Birkins, and the occasional body enhancement. But not me, though. I'm all natural as I stand before you requesting that you decree a sugar daddy and mommy appreciation day on March 10th to honor those who have given us so much. 
I got to believe there's somebody in a plane right now watching this video on their way to America for the first time in their lives who, because of what they've seen in this video, will land, exit the plane, walk right up to the ticket booth and buy a return ticket back home. And, and just go, you know, it, th- this, you know what? This is a mistake. I don't want anything to do with this. I, I should have never got on this plane. Get me out of here. I don't even want to see what's beyond this airport. You're on the wrong side. 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 I have COVID. I don't care. I really do have COVID. I know it sounds like I'm being anti-American right now, but I couldn't be more pro-American. Because I'm identifying the cancer in this country. So if you care about something, you don't, you don't want anything deteriorating, which you deem as special. And I, I, I think this is one of the best countries in the world. And I, I'm not going to just sit here and pretend like these type of idiots don't have an effect on our lives here. They do. I'm driving a car, but I just got a notification that Ruth Bader Ginsburg died. These people are a liability. You gonna get in a car with somebody like this? Could this year get any fucking worse? These people drive amongst us. You think they're making good decisions on the road? I'm terrified. Listen to me, Republicans. Listen. You are the people in history they warned us about. They warned us about people like you. Pay attention! We're losing our democracy! Wake up! Wake up! I'd love to take somebody from a small town in Iceland that's never left their country, bring them to America, and and just bring them to a place like this. Bring them to this bar here. And just see what their authentic reaction is of, of a woman standing at a bar with a pillow in her ass, trying to attract people. Well, she helps this class act take her shoes off so she could walk around and play pool barefoot on a floor filled with gum, people's drool. And just see how we live here. I mean, it's, it's got to smell like hot dog water in there. Yeah, then I'd like to take him for lunch the next day in Miami and just watch the look on his face when he sees this play out in the streets. Yeah, that's good. Let's just take over the street and stop everyone's lives around us to show everyone what happens when you're raised by deadbeats. If you're listening to this on Spotify or something, this is a video in Miami at a shopping district or something. It's just a bunch of lunatics walking in front of cars, yelling, twerking in the street. The kid from Iceland would be horrified. He'd go, what kind of society is this? And this is light compared to what's out there. This this is lo- just scraping the surface. This is mild. This is harmless. <laughs> See, this should be played at the next State of the Union address to the nation by the president. Thank God for abortions. Thank God for abortions. Thank God for abortions. Someone should be up there going, what are you people doing? Th- this is an embarrassment. The world sees this and goes, what is going on in America? What kind of society is this? And no elected official in this country talks about it. And you still believe these people care about us. You guys want to sign up? Do you want to sign up? (laughs) Anyway, let's wrap this up. Something about being in this new setting here. I am more aggravated than usual. 
I need my lounge chair from the studio to relax or something. I don't know what it is. Let's let's do a Q&A thing here. Let's do something a little different. Um, I get questions sent all the time. I just I just can't answer everybody, so I figured maybe I'll do some on the show today. Um, let's see. John on Facebook writes, you should be thanking the subjects of your videos. Otherwise, you wouldn't have content. Well, John, the day I don't have content like this is the day I'll celebrate the end of an era of stupid, okay? Uh, I'll have a parade in every city and you'll be invited, okay, John? Thanks for the feedback. Here's one from Instagram, Toyota user 7. What do you think of the new Mario movie and also about woke Disney? Any Anything woke is forced garbage. Anyone who sees life through the prism of race, gender, and sexuality over skill, behavior, and values, I want nothing to do with. I, I don't want to watch anything you produced. Anything you say is white noise to me. You see life through a completely different prism than I do. As far as the Mario movie, I liked it. People criticized it saying that the princess demasculated Mario and made herself seem tougher and more domineering than him. Uh, you know, but but if you played the games back in the day, the princess was kicking ass in the second Mario Brothers game. I mean, you you could play uh you could you could play as her throughout the whole game. And Mario Kart do, doing the same shit as all the other characters. So, it's not like they made her something she wasn't in the games. It would be different if she was the traditional damsel in distress type in the games, you know, and then all of a sudden they made her into Wonder Woman or something, you know, then yeah, it's forced and not authentic, but I thought they did it right. Uh, Robin, you cosmetic tattoo. Can we be best friends? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, (laughs) I don't have best friends. I have friends. And honestly, Anybody that watches this and and can relate to what I'm saying here, you're all my friends. You're all friends that I never met. What else do we got here? We got one from Nate. Uh, When will people live in the moment and enjoy life again without documenting it for views and attention? Social media would have to end. This will never stop as long as there's an outlet for people to show others what they're doing. People care too much about what other people think of what they're doing. But the thing is, they are enjoying life, but their life is through their phone. This brings them joy, but it's joy that relies on a constant fix similar to a drug. It's not sustained fulfillment. It's like a drug that satisfies you when you're on it. And when you don't have it, you need it again. It's like filling an endless hole. You're never going to do it. You end up being reliant on it. That's why these kids lose their minds when they get their phone taken away. It's like someone stealing their bag of weed. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not like the fulfillment you get from learning a craft or you know successfully executing a plan. It's like if you don't have any of that going on for yourself, then I think people latch on to these like artificial things, like these quick little dopamine hits, you know, like the little things that anybody can do. The sad thing is, is that it's not something anybody's going to look back on. Like they will look back on a song or a film that you made or a painting or something that you wrote or all this other crap. Like the, the people just constantly fill in their feeds with photos every day and crafting all these quotes. It just, it just gets lost in the, the ether. I don't know. I don't know. This is just me in my opinion, but I feel that everybody has something in them that others would find unique and inspiring if they only would look deep into themselves and tap into that. I just think that sometimes people are not really tapping into their, their potential. They, they even find it. But I think everybody has something unique about them. That everybody can do something better than the next person. And just some people just don't even find what that is. I think they just go down a path and they get caught up in nonsense and they just don't ever really live to their full potential. We're all artists. We are. We're creators. Everything around us. We created everything. The house that you're in. Somebody constructed that. You know, it's it's all our artists around you all day. That's all made from people. It's all man-made stuff. That's what we are. You know, so if you're not 
contributing anything or at least doing something for yourself, you know, making something that you can hold or look back and look at it, be proud of that came from your mind. I mean, like, what are you doing? We all have that ability to do that. It's just, we got to find our mediums. Anyway, that was a long answer for that. All right. This one's from distortion enterprises, uh, on Instagram. What's the most gut wrenching thing you've ever witnessed? Uh, aside from watching a kid cut someone's eye open with a razor blade in a street fight growing up down the street, uh, probably seeing how the majority of our society uh, constantly comes up with excuses as to why they don't go after their dreams in life, uh, knowing how much wasted potential is out there, how many people are living in a life uh, you know, that doesn't fulfill them because they settle or, or don't believe they have the ability to make their lives better. People not willing to sacrifice things to get what they want out of life. Yeah, just people living and dying on a conveyor belt where their entire day consists of following orders and doing things they don't want to do and, and repeating the process over and over every day until they die. <laughs> That's pretty gut-wrenching to witness. All right, Sidnet Mercedes. If the world wasn't a total shit show, what would you do for a living? I would just go back to doing what I was doing, film editing, animating, design work, anything creative. King Lillard, 24. What would you, uh, would you encourage people to have kids in this day and age? Yes, only normal people, because we need normal people to outnumber the stupid people. Uh, what, what else we got here? Bonnie Bijou. Uh, how do I write you? Good question. Uh, I have a mailing address if you want to do snail mail. Uh, people send all kinds of stuff to the show. Uh, the address is, you can address your letters to Joey B. Tunes or Joey B. Verse. The World, 178 Columbus Ave, 237190, New York, New York, 10023. All right, here's one from Geiger Counter, 57807. Who is the better movie villain, Shooter McGavin or Ernie McCracken? Shooter McGavin, he eats pieces of shit for breakfast. Disgusting human being. Uh, got one here from Pratyash Argawal, 23. What future will this generation lead to? Have you seen the movie Idiocracy? That. And on that note, I'm signing off. Hopefully I'll be back in the studio next time and not so wound up. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> talk to you guys later. Love you guys. See you soon.